Indian Air Force's Nali Air Force Station in Gujarat is preparing to host the first squadron of the Tejas Mark 1A that is situated 90 kilometers from the Pakistan border. National Aerospace Laboratories have signed an agreement with Pioneer Clean Amps Private Limited for the manufacturing and commercialization of Hansa 3NG trainer aircraft. Indian Air Force will receive the least KC 135 tanker from US based military contractor Mitri Management within the next six months. The RDO's Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory has increased the time between overhauls of AL 31 engines of Su 30 aircraft from 500 hours to 1000 hours by using indigenous components. The DRDO has begun preparations to test the next generation smart anti airfield weapon equipped with an electro optical seeker that will be capable of hitting moving targets at 100 km. The Indian Air Force has issued a call for industrial collaboration to develop an air transportable starting aggregate designed to support the operations of its Apache attack helicopters at altitudes up to 16,000 feet. Mohindra Defence Systems has successfully delivered 50 aerowatt vehicle mounted infantry mortar systems to the Indian Army. India's elite special forces are set to integrate electric motorcycles and explore electric manned unmanned aerial vehicles into their arsenal. The Indian Army validated manned unmanned teaming at the tactical level fusing next generation technology with frontline tactics under exercise service Shakti. The Indian Army conducted a sniper training course for the Kyrgyzstan Army at the Infantry School. Authorities in New Delhi have initiated discussions with US-based L3 Harris Technologies and Francis Tarles to equip its Star aircraft. India and Sri Lanka have signed a five-year defense cooperation agreement that provides for the training of Sri Lankan military personnel in India and the exchange of information and technology. The DRDO is gearing up to deploy its D4 counter drone systems at vital installations across Indian cities to create a robust shield against potential drone attacks in densely populated areas. A senior official from Russia's Rostec Corporation has revealed that converting Hindustan Aeronautics Nashik plant into a production line for the Su-57 stealth fighter jet would require less than 30% new tooling to refurbish the facility, such as its stealth-oriented airframe and advanced subsystems, as existing infrastructure ground machinery and equipment as well as skilled manpower is already in place from the production of Su-30 fighters for the Indian Air Force that will result in 20 to 30 percent lower per unit cost of the Su-57. Local production would allow India to negotiate better terms with Russia for raw materials subsystems and technology transfer, and producing the aircraft in India would eliminate import duties and reduce transportation expenses associated with acquiring fully assembled jets. With the UK and Italy repeatedly inviting India to join the Global Combat Air Programme, and India expressing interest in joining the sixth-generation fighter programme, experts have said that aligning the AMCA's engine with Global Combat Air Programme could yield a dual benefit. The AMCA Mark II would gain a proven sixth-generation engine, as it would provide access to technologies like adaptive cycle engines, which offer 30% greater range and enhanced thermal management. The Indian Air Force has called for the development of an advanced autonomous interceptor system to counter the growing threat posed by long-range drones to vital installations across the country. The system should be a tube-launched counter-swarm drone, capable of being deployed from helicopters, ground vehicles or static installations, offering a robust defense against drone threats at a minimum operating altitude of 8,000 feet. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.